going to talk about all the particular products in the world and we're going to talk about fixed deposits and we're going to talk about everything. Um, can you read it all the way there? Yeah. yeah, can you read time? Can you read inferior, mediocre, and can you read superior? Yes. Okay, so it's just a very simple diagram, simple picture. What I'm trying to show you here is the most inferior products on the lowest return, which is towards your bottom left. So inferior dash low returns. Naturally, I mean, there's no, it's common sense, it's common knowledge, right? But guess what? 90% of the investment happens here. Because it's low risk. Because it's safe. Okay, so, uh, so I don't like to use the word risk, yeah? Because I don't think anything is risky. Oh. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry, you had something to, you want to say? I have to say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, I know. So it's very deliberate. And you know what? I will share a secret with you. Actually, in the morning, I changed this from product to risk. Or from, sorry, from risk to product. Okay, so this was a slide which I found. It had risk, risk, risk written all over it. Someone else had made it in my office, but then I thought, no, no, I don't want to talk about risk. Because I don't like to talk about risk. Risk happens when you do something wrong. Right? Or, or you have the you know, receiving end of somebody else. Uh, no, something, wrong. something wrong. Or something wrong. somebody else investing badly for you. So, or a company going All wrong. of that is something wrong. Yeah. All of that is something wrong. Yeah. So risk happens when we do something wrong. Okay. Somebody, somebody does something wrong. Somebody does something wrong. Trump turns up, yeah. somebody, something like that comes up, right? You know, you know, okay, so, so that risk is a slightly different risk. <laughs> Surely you have some clients who are risk averse, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the whole beauty <laughs> of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We don't only invest in um, equities. Let me sort of clarify that. Uh, no, this is just to get a concept done. So, risk in investments. Okay, so let's not talk about Trump risk or global risk or political risk or environment risk. We're not going in that zone. Of course, those things have an impact. We're going to talk about investment risk. So in, in, in an investment risk, risk happens when something is wrong. Like, you know, you obviously can't cross the road when the traffic is moving. That's something wrong. So you can't do speculation because speculation fundamentally is not investment. Speculation is speculation. So if you're doing speculation, then that there is an element of risk because there is a chance. You may win, you may lose. And whenever there is a win or a lose situation, there is risk to it. Okay? Now what happens is, we, as, we tend to put risk associated with the quality of the product. But what happens is, we must look at the merit of the product, which is more important. So for example, the low return inferior product. For example, life insurance. Now we all... I mean, there is not a single family that I find who doesn't have a life insurance policy. Yeah? <laughs> you don't have, um, okay, wonderful. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't believe in it. Yeah, yeah, so, so you see, insurance, okay, and here's my favorite thing that I love to say about insurance, life insurance particularly. So life insurance is inversely related to the wealth that you have. Which is to say that if you have wealth there and which is adequate according to our calculations in mathematics you don't need insurance but because you know your, your need of wealth is there but you have actually this much so therefore this distance this distance here needs to be bridged and that's where you bring in insurance as a risk management device or a little bit of a tool for a temporary period so let's put some numbers on that say we do some calculations and we tell you as a family you need to have 10 million dollars, just as an example. But you have maybe six at the moment, putting all your assets and your, your properties and everything together. So there is a delta of four. Now this delta of four could adversely affect the family in a time of adversity or in a time of some sort of emergency. Um.